welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing my current top nude lipsticks so i haven't done this video in a very very long time i think it's been almost three to four months since i last did my current favorite nude lipsticks now let me warn you there are a few darker nudes which won't exactly count for a nude on a lot of lighter skin tones but it will definitely suit all the dusky skin girls out there let's get into it but before going please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press the bell button down there where you can get notified every single time i upload a video and also follow me on my social media accounts which will be linked in the description box below or somewhere here or here i'm not really sure but yeah and that's it let's get into it so the first one is the one which I'm wearing right now. This is the Nykaa Matalicious Lip Crayon in the shade Jade Rose. Now Nykaa recently launched a lot of new shades in their Matalicious collection. If you all have seen my previous current favorites, I will link it somewhere here for you guys to see. Uh, in that, I had mentioned the next level nude from the Matalicious collection and that had been my all-time favorite nude lipstick. It still is but ever since i got this shade called as jade rose oh my god i love this color it's the perfect mix of pink and dusky tones of pink it's a darker duskier nudie color i hope you all get what i'm trying to say and the best part about this nika matalicious lip crayons are that they are very comfortable they are very opaque like as you can see this is actually just one swipe of this pencil it's so good they are so comfortable they are very creamy but they are so mad and they do not feel drying on your lips whatsoever now this can be a bold lipstick for some people who are on the fairer side but on the dusky skin tone this is gonna be a perfect nude it's so flattering i have been loving dusky pink color recently i do not know what's gotten into me it's like i'm obsessed with that color so yeah this is the first one so the next one is from the nyx lip lingerie collection now nyx recently sent me a bunch of lipsticks the lip lingeries and there are so many shades in that collection that I absolutely love. One of them is this one. This is the shade Seduction. This is a perfect mix of warm brown and warm pink. You will see once I apply it. But the formula on this is more on the creamier side. And they do dry off pretty mad. But they are not very uncomfortable. They are pretty comfortable on your lips. And they do not dry or crack or any of, the, any of those things that I just said. So this has to be one of my favorite shades to wear when I'm wearing a winged eyeliner or something very warm on my eyes which is pretty much every single time. So this is like one of my favorite go-to lip shades and it's perfect for the season as winter is coming. I feel like warm shades are the perfect news to wear in this season. So the next one is from the brand called as Australis. This is the Australis Velour Lips Matte Lip Cream. I have actually done a full video watching these lipsticks. I will link it somewhere here if y'all are interested in seeing that. So this is in the shade, I think this, where's the name? Okay. So the shade name is Osaka. Now this is like a proper pinky nude shade now let me tell you the formula on this is very similar to the nyx lip lingeries it's more like a lip cream or very similar to the miss claire soft matte lip creams or the nyx soft matte lip creams they're very similar but these are way more pigmented than the miss claire soft matte lip creams or the nyx soft matte lip creams and you get a lot more product than those you get 10 ml of product and they dry off completely matte and on top of that they are not at all drying they are very comfortable on your lips as well and these are very affordable i think you get these for around 650 rupees but if there is a discount going on you will get it a lot cheaper 
So if you are interested to buy any of the lipsticks that I mentioned in this entire video, everything will be mentioned in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out. So yeah, this lipstick is more on the pinky side. It's more of a pinky mauvey shade. And again, the lasting of this lipstick is almost six to four hours if you tend to rub it off while you're eating you can again go ahead and reapply it and it's still not gonna crack or crease whatsoever so the next one is also from the NYX lip laundry collection this is in the shade Cabernet Show. So this is again a dusky kind of a nude and I absolutely love this color. I wear it non-stop guys. So if I'm not sure what lipstick shade I should wear for any kind of makeup look, this is the one which I go for and this suits all kinds of makeup look guys. I love, love the shade. See, as I said, it is so pretty. It's again in the dusky family. As I said, I'm obsessed with dusky pinks. So the next one is from the brand called as Milani. Now these are the Amor Matte Lip Creams and this is in the shade Loved. Now this is more on the coral side. This is a deeper corally nude and I love this shade when I am doing a very beautiful smoky eye or sometimes even when I'm doing a dusky pink kind of a look. As you guys can see, I am just obsessed so just forgive me for that but this is a very beautiful shade and the formula on these are actually pretty good like they are very comfortable to wear but there's one con of this liquid lipstick is that they do tend to crack sometimes so you have to like you have to apply a lip balm before going with these liquid lipsticks but otherwise they are beautiful and especially the fragrance oh my god this is like a sweet vanilla toffee fragrance i absolutely love the fragrance of this so you want to make sure that you are not applying two layers of this lipstick if you apply two layers there is a possibility that it may crack so keep that in mind The next one is again from the brand Australis. These are the Velour Lips Matte Lip Cream and this is in the shade Mozam Chic. Now I love the names on these liquid lipsticks. They are perfect. They are so catchy. But anyway, let's talk about the shade first. The shade is more on the darker brown side. There is no warmth in the shade at all. It's more of a cool tone brown. And I love such kind of colors which are more on the cooler tone side. So there are days when I am doing a cool tone look or sometimes I just wear winged liner and a bold cool toned lip color. They look stunning. And again, the formula is very similar to the previous one. They are very opaque. They are not patchy. They are very comfortable on the lips. So just excuse my application i overdrew my lips quite a lot but as you guys can see this is a stunning shade it's like so like fall like again wintry shade this will look perfect i love the shade guys so the next shade is from Colourpop, these are their lippy sticks. Now, this is in the shade Ziggy and these are the Matte X formula. Now, I do not know whether I've mentioned this before, but this has been my all-time favourite darker nude lipsticks, especially because they are more of a stick formula. They are not a liquid formula, so they are way more creamier and way more comfortable on your lips. And Colourpop makes amazing matte lippy sticks like those are the best formulas that I feel. They're very comfortable to wear. They're very long lasting as well. They do not 
chip off. Nykaa makes very similar formula to the Colourpop ones. Oh my god, the formula on these lipsticks are phenomenal. Like they glide so smoothly. But yet they are super matte. Do you guys know the best part about these lippy sticks? These do not settle in your cracks on your lips. They are so seamlessly, smoothly applied on your lips. That is the reason why I love the Colourpop lippy sticks. The next one which I want to share with you guys is from Milani again. These are again the Amore Matte Lip Creams. The same formula, the same pigmentation, the same comfort. Everything is same only the shade is different. Different which is Fling. Now this is again more of a mauve nude. Like it's a straight up mauve nude. And this is again a very very beautiful color. I actually use this pretty often in the summers. But there are certain looks which need a straight up mauve nude color. So this is the one which I reach for every single time. Now you guys might be wondering whether the shade is very similar to the Australis Valor Matte Lip Cream. We'll just compare it side by side once I swatch this. So this is the Australis one and this is the Milani one. So as you guys can see side by side these two are pretty different in color. The Australis one is a little bit on the darker pinker side and this one the Milani one is more on the mauve side. I do not even know how many layers of foundation I have on my lips. Near my lips. My goodness. The next one is again from the NYX Lip Lingerie Collection. I know, I know there are a lot of NYX Lip Lingerie but I cannot help it. The entire range has so many beautiful shades and recently I went to Nika and there were a lot more shades. Like there was a shade called as Exotic, there was a shade called as Truffle Trim. I want to get them all because they are such pretty nudes and I am a digger for nudes guys. So anyway, the next shade is called as Confident. Now this is a very unique shade. This is on the purple tone side but yet it is a nude. It's a darker, cooler tone, purpley kind of a nude. So again, I went overboard with my lips. Now they are overdrawn to another extent. But anyway. So yeah, this is the shade. As you guys can see, this is such a dark, not the shade dark, but like a darker, moody lipstick. It's a purple toned, nudie, mauve goodness. That's how I'm going to describe it. I absolutely love these weird nudie shades. They, they just take the look from here to here. So yeah. So the next lipstick is from Maybelline. These are the lip gradations and this is in the shade Mauve 1. Now I have mentioned these previously on my channel. I think a year back I used to love the shade and recently I Found this in my collection again. I know makeup has an expiry date, but I feel like this has not yet been spoiled, so I do use it and I love the shade, especially because it's more like a lipstick formula and again it's very matte, very comfortable, very opaque. And these are the shades which I tend to wear on a regular basis. Now, this is more like a darker brownie mauve color as you guys can see these shades like steal my heart this is again that 
deep or dusky pink color. So yeah. So the last lipstick that I wanted to mention was from Milani again. Now this, these are their lipsticks. I am not sure what they are called. Uh, this is in the shade Matte Naked. Now this is a very different shade than all the others that I've mentioned till now. This is more on the mauve side but it's a lighter mauve nude. I don't think any other shade is as light as the, this one but it's not very light so like a shade or two fairer than me this will be the perfect nude but for me it's like sometimes it can wash me out but when I'm wearing my makeup right I think this shade looks stunning and the formula on this is also very comfortable they are very very matte as well and I absolutely love the packaging of this it's like a gold packaging and it actually feels like a luxury packaging so I love the fact that it is gold and it looks very pretty sitting in my vanity as well So you do have to go with like 2-3 layers to get the maximum opacity of these lipsticks. So guys, that was it for this video. My lips are burning like hell right now. I just want to rip off my lips. They are crazy crazily tingling so guys those were all my current favorite nude lipsticks let me know in the comments below which is your favorite among all the shades that i showed you on right now and also let me know which are your favorite nude lipsticks right now so that you know if there is something new i might want to try it out and there's nothing like too many nudes for me i am down to buy any kind of nude lipsticks i am a lipstick addict i am yeah so anyway that's it for this video and I'll see y'all in my next one very very soon. Until then, bye!